מחר. I am, honey. The next one is an Avon pen, and I know because I've sold these before. So it's a much older Avon pen because I haven't sold Avon since the 90s or 80s. Around the 80s. I, through the 80s, I sold it. <clears throat> Here's a mosaic pen that's beautiful. The main reason why I wanted this lot. It's marked on the back. Italy. It's absolutely gorgeous. The next one was a little dried flower brooch. Very pretty. Those are real flowers too. And it's signed. And it was 28 of 500. R. Wells. Very pretty. We have a... Ooh, that's very cold. Cameo. There is no pen on the back, but it had the old C clasp. And that's very beautiful, and it's very cold. Yep. So I don't know if that's ivory. This back here feels ceramic. <clears throat> or if it's like a Wedgwood or she's very beautiful. I'll test it later, but I want to scratch it up here. Next one is another rhinestone pen. It's like a pinwheel with a flower in the center. It's a C clasp. It's in great shape. No marks. We have some tack pens. Soldier Field. Chicago. Oh, Chicago Field. No, in, in Chicago. In Chicago. July 3 through 5, 2015. Here's a pink tack pen. Here's a, I don't know. Oh, it's little children. Three little children. Tack pen. <clears throat> Here's a puppy tack pen. And a cure for the cause. Cause for the cure. What is it? Cure for the cause. No. Anyway, it's the, the pink ribbon. And then this looks like a Girl Scout pen. I don't know. I'm sure. I, I know you wouldn't I know that. I wasn't even a brownie, even though my last name is Brown, so I don't know. Yeah, I think that's a Girl Scout pen, I think. This pen has got a piece that's come out. The heck? <laughs> okay, I fixed that. It looks like a piece of carnelian. Goes right in here when it's have to be put back in there. Maybe it goes this way better. Yeah. But it's be a pretty pin when it's put back together. There's the back. And there you go. And that was that lot.
What's next, honey? I'm not sure. Just pick out a big one. Okay, here's 135. Lot 135 was just vintage costume jewelry lot. Glass beads, colorful orange, red floral, as is. Oh, I think we'll find that as is in here. <laughs> That's it. Now it feels more like a jewelry jar. Yeah, I know. It was kind of boring, wasn't it, honey? To say the least. Yeah, but it was good stuff. Oh, yeah. Look mm -hmm. at this toggle class necklace. <sighs> I mean, wow. Yeah. That's huge. That can be the first candidate. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm hmm. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna put that in the craft lot. Maybe somebody want it for a costume or something piece. We have a chip cuff bracelet with stones. It's very pretty. I think it might be brass. Or copper, one or the other. Let's see if it's either. Oh, it's magnetic. It's magnetic on top. It's not magnetic here in the center. So this around here, that's magnetic, and these ends are magnetic. But the inner part here that's going to be against your skin is it's either brass or copper. See, that's, see how magnetic it is there? Now, when I do that, there's nothing. So I believe this is a copper bracelet that is lined with, on the edges here with something else. But it is very pretty. Stones on there. <clears throat> the next bracelet we have also has stones in it. Some stone chips. out of the way it's distracting. And that out of the way. Very good. Do you have any strands of string anywhere? What's that honey? <laughs> Just teasing you. Okay, here we go. There's the stone. Kinda got a lot of little citrine look in it. It is just a hook. And you have three places to hook it. It's just magnetic. Okay. That's not. And those aren't, but there's something here, these little, right here, that the beads are put on, this part right here, that's magnetic. So yeah, that's a pretty little neck bracelet. Very pretty. Number with that one? 135. Okay. The next one we have is this chain, and this is an older chain. It looks like this on this side. You can flip it over and really wear it this side too if you wanted to, if you wanted that look. Very cute. It is tagged with nothing, has nothing on the tag, and it's got a hook, so it's an older type necklace, don't back on, yeah, okay, I did, I turned it back on, good girl, it's 
very small. Let's see. let's measure this one. That's really gonna tell us if it's, if it's vintage. It's seven and a half, so that makes it fifteen. <laughs> so that's a, a vintage necklace. I said vintage. The next one has this box class that's absolutely beautiful. It's got some verdigris going on here that I'm going to have to clean off. Yes, on both ends. Very pretty pearls. They're glass, I'm pearls, beads. They're glass beads and yellow and an orange color and a white. They're prettier than what they're showing on my screen there. I don't know if it's this table or what that or the light that takes the color out. Let's see if this can just... Anyway, they are very pretty. I need to clean these. You putting them in separate bags? Mm -hmm. Okay. Just leave, leave them over here. Leave them in this bucket for me to clean. Now, here's the spring ring class. This is an older necklace. I love these beads. I call them moon glow. You can see the glow in them. It's like the moon in the sky, in the dark sky at night. Beautiful colors. They're more vibrant than they're showing on the screen here. But beautiful. That's a beautiful necklace. And the next necklace is a nice cold stone necklace. Now, I don't know if we have jade in here. Uh, that looks like it could be amethyst, a light-colored amethyst here. Quartz. But very pretty. I need to wash these too, honey. Very beautiful. It's got a barrel clasp. Okay, and then we have this bracelet. Oh, it smells like something. It might be Bakelite. I'll have to test it. Very pretty. There's no seam in it. It's got one of those Bakelite colors, so I'm going to be testing that for Bakelite. Here's another bracelet. Put it over there or what? Uh, no, put just it. put it in the bag. Yeah. <coughs> oh, have mercy. Oh, here it is. <clears throat> yeah, this is brass. Know what this is I think these are inlaid in here it's very pretty I don't think it's enameling because you can feel the the segments in it it's very pretty nothing's missing has some pretty little hoop earrings they're clip backs they're stone they're very cold. Now this is glass bead here. It's, some of these are stones. Very pretty. Ooh, this is, oh, this necklace feels marvelous. It looks like it slices of something again. I'm not sure what. It's an infinity necklace, I believe. Yeah, I don't see any. I don't see any. Um, I just don't know what these yeah. are. Oh, there it is. Yeesh. Thank you, honey. It's okay. Spring ring clasp. Looks brass. This looks like it's been replaced. 
it's silver. And you have these, and I don't know what these are. So if anybody has any idea, they're real smooth. Then you have these shell chips. I don't know if these are some kind of wood or coral. See that? Well, I just don't know. They're very smooth. They look like they've been sliced, like it's sliced coral. Here's the outside, and they're all like that. So if anybody knows what this is, let me know. Very beautiful. Very smooth. Beautiful colors of browns. and uh, The colors are more vibrant than you're seeing. You have chocolate brown, and you have some... Um, Kind of reddish brown color and the dark beads here are almost black very nice color combination we have a spring ring little bracelet it's very small definitely for a smaller wrist i don't know that i could wear that and you could put charms on it if you wanted I don't see any markings. Now, I know this is old because it's got the old clasp. You see this? You just pull that back. There's a little ledge on there. That's the old spring rings. And you just pull them back. I kind of really like those better than the new ones that have that little knob sticking up. I think these look prettier on a bracelet. I'm going to put this in the uh, okay. bracelet lot over here. Put it wherever you want to put it. This is beautiful. It's hand painted. It's on, uh, it's enameling hand painted. I don't know what kind of metal it is. It's magnetic. Yep. That's not. That is. I don't think the frame is magnetic. I think this is so strong it pulls the frame. Because there's no pull there. No pull there at all. Let me see if I see any markings on this. No markings. Still pretty. Next is a pair of clip earrings. These are older earrings. With a beautiful amber looking center. Very pretty. their clips and they're magnetic but they're in great shape here's some more old clips pearls are in great shape nowhere here's the backs this is a scarf clip through there and clamp down. There we go. Here are some enameled leaves. Very pretty. Beautiful enameling. They are post. Great condition. The next look like closing A. Very pretty. You can even feel the indentation there or the lining in that. Beautiful enamel work, beautiful color. Shells. 
Oh, wow. These are old. See, they'd be worn like this. You can wear it with the rose facing outward or inward towards the face, depending on which ears you put them on. Namely, hand painted. Beautiful work. Not marked by the artist. What a shame. The next is also uh, clip earrings. Beautiful enameling again. Floral design. Great shape. We have these pearls and an amber looking colored stone in the metal bead. Real pretty color combination. There's the backs. Very clean and in good shape. These are beautiful mosaic earrings and red flowers, a blue background. Some daisy flower there. Here's the backs. Yeah, they're magnetic. The next are enamel earrings with a amber color stone in the middle, rhinestone. Again, these are clip-ons. We have a keychain shell. Oh, it's signed. Let's see what it says. We can read it here. I think it says AK, which would be Ang Klein. Yes, it says AK and Klein. Here's a pair of earrings, gold tone clip backs, in great shape, no wear. They are slightly magnetic. Inside has a little wear on it. Mechanisms work good on them. The next is, these are glass beads or crystals. They are also clip-ons. Very pretty red bead there with the white crystals. No signatures. Mechanisms work good on that. Very pretty. And the last we have are the Go Go Triangles. Reminds me of the 70s. The 60s. 70s. 60s. The Flower Power. The Goldie Hans. Roland Martin's laughing. Yep. We need more laugh ins. Okay, what's next? Ooh, number 276. What is 276? 76 is black sparkle stones, purple gray bracelets, necklaces, costume jewelry, as is. We're still looking for as is. Yep. <laughs> Ooh, it's a jewelry jar. It's a jewelry jar. I gotta grab one. Black sparkle. Right up my alley. Right off the bat. All the stones are there, but one right there on the edge. 
And that's an opaque colored one that's missing. Now, how does this work? Oh. You just press this thing down, and there it goes. It clips. Okay. That's adorable. I like this. That was easy to get on, too. Very pretty. And a gunmetal color. Easy on and easy off. Okay. Like that. Playing cooler jets. <laughs> And here's some glass, be huh? <laughs> Say what? Cool your jets. Slow down cool my jets? Yeah. Okay, I'm cooling my jets, y'all. Talk slow. Okay, like a southern gal, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very pretty glass beads. Um, Crackle glass beads. And these black ones are also cold. And I love the charms on this. This okay. is beautiful. You have you your starfish, your regular shell, and your conch shell like. Oh, I like this one. And it's in great shape too. That's beautiful. Love my black and white. That stuff everywhere, won't you? Here's another stretchy bracelet with gray. Um, it's in silver tone, but it's got gray rhinestones and black rhinestones. Stretchy. Very pretty. I like that too. Alrighty. The next one is lobster claw clasp. And these are acrylic beads. They're old beads, I think. Very pretty. Let's see. I need to adjust my camera. Very pretty. Okay. I gotta slow my oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can go now. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I can let it rip now. This is beautiful toggle bracelet in gunmetal with pearls. And I believe these are just acrylic. Yes, they are. And little pearlized, fasted rectangle yard beads. Very pretty. And your other pearls. Oh, look, they have them in circles, too. It's very pretty. Very, very pretty. Nowhere. The next one is this. And you have a little spinner here. So if you don't like it on that side, you can spin it over to this side. Fasted beads. They are cool, they're not cold. I believe they're they're acrylic, well-made acrylic beads. Very pretty. Next one we have. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, that has got some issues on the things. We'll see. Okay, thank you. Here's a lobster claw clasp, gunmetal. Here's a bead with an extender. You have glass beads, like that cracked glass. These feel cold, but they're not... These feel cool, but not cold. Now, the metal beads definitely feel cold. These were the beads that have a little distress on the... On them, if you took all that off, you'd have a white, pretty white pearl, pearlized bead. Stressed on this side too, and down here at the bottom. You have these that have that resemblance of um, amber.
There you go. You want to put that in craft? You want to? Yeah, give it to me since it's got distress on it. Here's a lobster claw class with gunmetal. It's a loft necklace. It's a Rolo chain and gunmetal color. The Rolo chains have texture on them. You have these nice filigree beads with rhinestones in them. Necklace is in good shape. I don't see any missing rhinestones. Just turn it over and take a look. Now these are, this is very pretty. The next one's still on its cord. It's a Pure Expression Hypoallergenic. Very pretty. In gray tones and silver tones. Not a lot of black, but it does have a black bead here on one side that turns and rotates to a gray bead. Two tone bead. Lobster claw clasp with an extender that I can't get out. There it is. Nice long extender. An excellent shape. Ooh, this is pretty. This is signed. Piddly wink links. Piddly links. It's a box clasp. Beautiful box clasp. Okay, I got it in there good. Rhinestones that are prong set. Comes down to this pendant. It's a very pretty necklace. It's pretty long. Mm -hmm. How expensive. long is it? I don't know. We're going to find out. It's about 24 inches. Nope. 20. Well, you've got this in here that's over an inch and a half. But hmm, I'd say about 18 inches. No, about 19 inches. Nine and a half, twice. 19 okay. inches. You want it in the bag or you want it in the drawer? It's at in the drawer.